Good day, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is Viper AS for Viperland, and today I'm going to try a slightly different mode on Hearthstone. I'm going to try the arena. I've done it once before, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's very similar, to a degree, uh, to drafting in Magic the Gathering. Definitely some differences, but definitely a lot of overlap. So, you go in there, you have to have all nine classes unlocked to get in here, and it costs either a dollar ninety nine real money or a hundred and fifty gold. And you'll notice I have one fifty five. So there we go. Your first one is free. After that, it costs money or gold. <clears throat> so you pick one of three classes they give you. I have spent no time with the rogue, a little with the druid, and a little with the shaman. I'm gonna try the shaman. And then they give you three cards at a time for you to build a whole deck out of. So every once I pick one of these, the other two will go away and they'll give me three new ones, and I get to build an entire deck out of it. Uh, I don't like the Alarmabot. Oof. What? That guy's really only seems to be good if I could heal him. I've never seen that guy before, actually, so... Gonna pick this guy! I believe shamans get spell damage stuff, so... There's more spell damage. Give your totems extra health. Huh. Overload, you have X less mana next to... Oh, okay. So I can get this out on turn two, but then on turn three it only have two mana still. Uh, I'm gonna go for that one for now, though I might end up going a spell damage one. Oh, three damage for one mana with an overload, or four cost taunt. Right now I really like taunt. Let's see, give your minions three attack this turn, probably gonna go that. That's just all minions three attack. If you have a lot of minions, you're good. Uh, yes. And they do show you your mana curve to a degree down here. And what you've picked over here. Let's see. Battle cry deal one damage. Meh. It's kind of down between these two, because I don't really like that guy as much. Though, I'll have a lot of totems, in theory. So maybe he'd get a lot of attack, but still only, th only three health. I'm going to go with the lightning bolt. Let's see, Wind Fury is nice. Wind Fury is basically double strike for magic. For all intents and purposes, it attacks twice each turn. It's weak, but if I could buff it up with something, it would be very nice. This guy, on the other hand, is just a beefier version of this guy, and I like this guy, so I'm going to pick the Fire Elemental. And every once in a while, they'll give you a set of rares or legendaries. All right now, we got a Sea Giant, costs less for each other minion on the battlefield, which could be very good, because my... And the ability of the two cost one just summons a creature onto the battlefield. They're totems, but they count as creatures. And this also counts enemies' creatures, so I'm going to take that guy. Wow, another legendary. Okay, so I have no more locks. That guy's out. Start of your turn, destroy all minions. I guess it would be a good board wipe, but I have no use for the other two, so I may as well. It's a two cost board wipe as long as he lasts that long. That's not terrible, I guess. I'd rather something else. Silence is very good. Silence basically rips the text off of any card. So if I silenced this thing, adjacent minions would not get plus to attack. However, I think I'm going to pick this guy because, again, lots of minions, hopefully. That's the plan. Which is why I'm probably going to go with this one. Oh. Give adjacent minions taunt, or at the end of your turn, spawn more minions. I'm gonna go for the taunt, because right now I don't have a lot of taunt, so hopefully that'll do it. Uh, silence, uh, I really want to take this guy, but the silence is probably gonna be better. Though I have a lot of two cost ones right now. More taunt, some charge, or taunt. Let me go with the taunt. Uh, another thing about this mode, normally you have a cap of two cards of a particular type per deck, but you can draft, or arena, or whatever you want to call it, more than two. So if I got another shield master, I could put that in the deck too. Let's see. A silence a minion, deal one damage to it. Very nice. Or all three attack to all minions. I'm going to say the cheap silence. Uh, pretty much hands down the hex. That has caused me problems in the past, so I plan on causing problems to other people. If you play a card with overload, I've got one, two... Yeah, not gonna take that. Give a minion Wind Fury, probably gonna take that. 
Yes, definitely that. Uh, free. Oh, I'm gonna hope this guy's gonna pay because I should have a lot of minions. Definitely taunt. Yep. Everything else is good, but or not the taunt, the hex. <clears throat> Useless. Already have one. I might need more. Uh, I'm gonna go with the taunt. So far, I'm going with minions more than weapons. So. Two damage to two random enemy minions, but it overloads two. But I don't really need either of those. But with that, I could maybe... Uh, I'll take that one. Give all other murlocs two health. I'm not using murlocs. Charge and divine shield, maybe. Two to three damage to all enemy minions. Yeah, that's probably going to be the one. It's a big overload cost, but worth it to me. Give your opponent mana crystal. Not going to happen ever. Each player draws two cards, not terrible, still better than this. So I'm going to go with the each player draws. At least it's good for both people. Did I already pick one of these? No. Uh, I'm going to go with the Wind Fury. It's probably the wrong call there. I think that might be the wrong call, but I made it anyway. A charge? Uh... Yeah, at least I can do whatever it is that turn. Give you a minion. Oh, three good ones. How many Wind Furies do I have? Just one, and I only have one Bloodlust, too, right? Only one of each. Ah. Uh, I think that's going to be more helpful overall, because I don't really have any high end ones right now. That'll be my finisher, assuming I get enough out there. Uh, whenever this minion takes damage, gain three attack. That could be very nice. Uh, I like it better than the other one, so I'm going to go with that. Restore a minion to full health, give it taunt for free. Yes. Yes. Da -da -da. Minions, but in case I get a weapon guy, these I've grown to like. Started out not liking them too much, and then I got hit with a really big weapon. I think it was a warrior with like a legendary weapon, and I just wished... I had one of these, so might be good to have in reserve. And its numbers aren't bad. Three, two for two. Ah, uh, da, da da da. Now I'll take the totemic might. What if you cast a spell? Do I have enough spells? One, two, three. I've got a few spells. Oh, this guy's not bad if I can keep it protected. But I think I'm gonna go with this guy. It's got the best of both. It buffs the spells, and it draws a card, and it's 4-4, four, four, which is not bad. Okay, so, the deck is made. From here, you can play games. There's no time li limit on them. You can play them whenever you want. I can play all three right now. I can play one today, one in a week, and one a week from then. The thing is, you're trying to get as many wins as you can, but if you get three losses, you retire the deck. It's done, and you get something. The more you've won when you hit those three losses, the more prizes you get. I've only won, I think I won two it, out of the five I played, and I got a handful of gold, a pack of cards, and some arcane dust. So, I'm gonna cut this episode here at the creation phase, and the next episode, which I'll upload the same day, I'm just splitting them up for people who might not want Bleh. Splitting them up for people who might not want to watch both. There's the English I was looking for. They can just cut straight to the me playing the game if they don't want to watch me drafting the cards. So, this is going to be the end of the drafting episode bit. Thank you for watching, and tune in immediately after this for my first arena game with this deck.